Today we're going to have a look at petrol versus diesel intake decarb. So, diesel. FSI petrol R36, notorious for carbon buildup. TFSI and FSI motors being direct injection, any direct injection uh, engine for that matter, is uh, it seems to have some problems with carbon buildup. Now, Volkswagens and Audis more than most, but... Anyway, so I've got two different versions here that I'll be using. One obviously on the diesel and one on the petrol at a later stage. What's the difference? Why, why two different versions? Um, well, I'm assuming there is different makeup in the chemical compounds and, and whatnot that's in it. And I was correct. So, with the diesel, now this may be a bit more potent versus the petrol one because the petrol one needs to have a certain number of uh, anti-knock agents in it whereas diesels they love to knock well i'm sure i'll get corrected on that but the compression ignition engine uh, doesn't need to have the amount of xylene and alcohol there's lots of other alcohols in there as well that make that up whereas they are not present in this one there's no alcohol in here at all there's a hell of a lot more acetone so there's 50 to 70 percent acetone solvent naphtha petroleum heavy aromatic whatever that is at 30 to 40 percent more hydrocarbons, lots of other things in there, but those are starting to get to the minute amounts. The main ingredient in the petrol one is hydrocarbon propellant, which is probably something like a butane, I guess. Uh, then there's xylene, acetone at a smaller percentage, benzyl alcohol, and isotridecal, isotridecal alcohol and some other additives. So they're quite different products according to the labels. Uh, I probably wouldn't run the petrol and the diesel and the diesel in the petrol, given that they're both about the same price and they actually make a specific one for petrol and diesel. Just use your brain and use the one that you need. So they come with these handy nozzles because you'll have intercooler pipes or airflow meters in the case of the R36 that you'll have to sort of work around to get the car to run still. So there's actually a little port that I have done this before in the diesel behind here where you can have it running because you're supposed to have it running and progressively squirt into the inlet track. Now it's not under boost as such, but you do need the little nozzle to actually feed into that pipe because it actually blows air out through this little manifold junction here the idea with the an aspirated or a turbocharged TFSI or a FSI motor is you will need to use this and put it in between the throttle body and silicon joiner or throttle body and um, you know intake joiner. You don't want to spray this through your airflow meter, definitely not. You've got airflow meter cleaner for that, which is another video, and you've got intake and decarb cleaner for to decarb the backs of the valves and the inlet ports and things like that that the fuel doesn't touch being uh, diesel the diesel is squirted directly into the cylinder with this common rail setup so all of those valves and everything like that gets untouched traditionally what i mean i would probably both urge a carbon uh, sorry a catch can system on both of these particularly the diesel but because the uh, Volkswagen's so horrific at um, carbon buildup, I, I should run one on that as well, which will help prevent it further on down the track. But cleaning it is the hard part. Now, whether or not you'll actually see any physical difference between using these products, you're gonna have to get some pretty fancy camera work to get in there and actually have a look with uh, some sort of endoscope or something like that, unless you can physically see the valves uh, to see whether or not it's done any 
uh, cleaning or any any effective cleaning. You might be able to look down through the spark plug bores, but you're not going to see a hell of a lot in there uh, with the spark plugs removed. The, the the piston crowns might not show a hell of a lot there. So for the sake of 20 bucks, it may be a waste. It may be good. Um, I periodically do it anyway with the diesel in this. As I've said before, I do it through this little inlet pipe in there. I haven't done it on the Volkswagen, so I'll be doing a video on that shortly with the petrol version and showing you how I did that. So thanks very much for watching the video.